Okay, today I'm going to show you how to print an A4 document using Photoshop. So, first thing we do is open Photoshop. Then we go to File, New. And on the preset drop down menu, we have International Paper. Select that. Then under Size, we have the different sizes. So, we want to select A4. A4 is your standard size that your home printer takes. So here it gives you the width in millimeters and the height in millimeters. You can change that to centimeters, inches, pixels, but it doesn't really matter because it's still going to be an A4 size page. Now the most important thing is for printing out your A4 page is that this here, the resolution, is set to 300. That's very important because if it's set to anything lower, usually it would be 72 for uh, you know, internet-based A4 pages. Um, anything less than 300, the resolution won't be won't be proper enough to, to print out. So select OK, and also by default the background is to white, and most A4 sheets are white. So we leave it at white, and we select OK. Now here is our A4 page. At the moment, it's set to 16.7% uh, view, so it just enables you to view the whole A4 page on your, your screen. So what I normally do here is I press on a Mac the letter F and this brings the A4 page onto a nice uh, grey background. Then I hold down the space bar and that gives me the hand. Then I drag my A4 sheet to a more workable area on the screen. So there's our A4 sheet. So what do we want to print? Well, today I'm just going to print for you some, some text. So here we go down and select the text option. Select anywhere on the A4 document and start typing. Now at the moment it's set to very, very small text. Here it's at eight points. So before we start typing, I guess we should increase that to, we'll say 30 points, just so we can see what we're writing. We can change the size again afterwards. So let's type uh, this. Oh, it's also in white, so we want to change the color of the text, because obviously we can't read white against white, we want to change the color to black. So up here, we have the color palette. Set the text color to black. Hit return. So, here we go, let's start typing again. This is a print and hit return, A4 page. Okay, so next thing we do is select the cursor up here on the left and drag it to somewhere in the center of the page. Not sure why it's giving me all those little bits there, but just ignore that. Now we want to go Command T on a Mac and drag that out holding the Shift button so that it keeps the proportion of the text and drag it out again using the shift button. Oh, I left go of the shift button there, so out we go again and there we have, this is a print page. Hit return and there we go. So let's do some more editing here on the paragraph palette. We can set the paragraph to center text and that brings it all to the center like so. We can underline it on the character palette like so. We can do italics and let's just say we want to put a shadow on this text. Let's go to the layers palette, double click the text layer, go up to drop shadow, select drop shadow, and select the size of the shadow, select the spread of the shadow, not too dark, select the distance of the shadow, usually I do something like that, and select the opacity of the shadow, something like that. Let's go to normal and hit OK. Now all we got to do is go File, Print, 
and print. I'm not going to print it this time because I don't want to waste my paper, but that's how you do it. Ciao.